Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a scrolling news sticker to your WordPress website. So this is what we're going to add in our WordPress website. And I showed you how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS in one of my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. Right, so here is my WordPress website and uh, this is the website where we're going to add the new sticker. Now let's go to the dashboard and uh, let me show you the theme that I'm using. So I'll go to appearance and click on themes. And here you can see I'm using a theme called Astra. Now you don't need to install this theme Astra in your WordPress website to make this work. It can work with any theme because uh, we have designed it from scratch. Now we need to add HTML and CSS to the website. So for that I'm using this plugin called custom CSS and JS. So if you don't have this plugin, you can go over here to plugins and go to add new and then search for custom CSS and JS and you'll be able to find this plugin. Just go ahead and install and activate the plugin and you'll have this option over here on the left side and uh, we'll just go over here and uh, click on add custom HTML and here you can go ahead and add a title. So I just type news ticker HTML and let's add the HTML over here. So I'll just delete all of this and let's go to the source code. So this is the HTML that we have used in our design. Now you can go ahead and customize all of this. You can change this title to whatever you want. And then go ahead and type all the news that you want over here in the list items. If you want to add a new list item, just copy this li from here and paste it down. And once you add all the stories that you want in your news, you can go over here to the style or CSS file. And then go ahead and change this value over here according to the number of stories that you have over here. Now in the design video, I showed you how to calculate what number should be added over here. So you can go ahead and watch that and just add the appropriate value over here. And if you know some CSS, you can go ahead and change all of these values over here. And some of the important ones are the colors. So you can go ahead and change the color over here. And uh, you can also change the positioning. So right now it is set to the top. For this video, I'm going to keep everything as it is. And uh, let's go ahead and copy this HTML from here. So I'll just copy this uh, news container division. And I just paste it over here in uh, this uh, input field. Now on the right side, we have some options to change. So we can go ahead and add it to the header or after the body tag and all of this. Now you have to add it to the body. So let's go over here and click on this option right here after the body tag. And let's go ahead and click on publish. All right, the HTML has been added. Now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So let's go over here to add custom CSS. And here I'll just add a title news ticker CSS and let's copy all the CSS from here and paste it right here and we will leave all these settings as it is and let's click on publish right now let's go back to our website and let's see whether it works so let's refresh this page now here we can see that the new sticker is not being displayed so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's check whether we have the news container division so here you can see we have the news container division and it is right here at the top but it is not being visible so the problem is that uh, it doesn't have the correct z index so the z index is basically how the elements of your website are structured so if you have a high z index it will be displayed above all the other elements so let's add a high z index over here so i'll just type z index of 1000 and now we can see that the new sticker is being displayed so let's go ahead and add the z index to our css so let's go back to our dashboard and here in the CSS, let's add a Z index. And here I'll just type Z index and I will set it to 1000. And let's update. Let's go back to our website and refresh this page. And now we can see that our news container is being displayed over here. Now you're seeing this bar over here because we have logged into our WordPress website. So let's open this in an incognito window. And now here we can see that the news container is being displayed, but we have to move all the other elements down a little bit. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's select the body. So this is the body tag and uh, let's add some margin top. So I'll just set a margin top of 36 pixels or maybe let's increase it a little bit. So I think 48 pixels looks nice. So let's go ahead and add margin top of 48 pixels to the body. So let's go to the CSS and uh, here I'll just type body and I will set a margin top of 48 pixels and let's update it. Let's go back to our website and refresh this. 
and now we can see that everything looks all right let's scroll down and we have a little problem over here that we don't have a background color for this news container so let's add a white background color for this news container so let's go back and here I'll just type background white and let's update it let's go back to our website and refresh this and now we can see that everything looks all right we don't have any problems so this is basically how you add a scrolling news sticker to your WordPress website now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS you can go ahead and watch that video I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code so that you can just copy and paste the code to your website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day